everybody it's Sandy here I thought I would share with you um, what I use for a teacher calendar um, I actually just use a three ring binder this one is from the Dollar Tree and I did get a um, matching little journal book too um, but this year I'm using this and um, it's evolved through the years, but I've always just kind of used this. I've tried to get fancy, tried to be not fancy. I've tried to use the black teacher ones, and they just never really work out for me. And by the end of this year, this will be ripped. This part will be ripped because I'm in and out of this all the time. It's just where I like to take and keep all my information. This comes home with me, and then I take it to school, so it's always in my teacher bag. Um, and so right now, uh, it's kind of, I don't know how to, it's a, it's a mismatch right now. I just kind of took stuff from the other one out and put it in here and I'm working on getting it organized in a new way. Um, right on top here is something I've been working on. I've been trying to getting, trying to get my typing done at home. And then, so what I've got here is a list of things that are ready to print. So I will print them at work though to save on my own ink there's only a few things there's this one um, Chester's first day of school I'll be printing this at home because it's just a little I and I'll share it with you but it's just a little tab and it's something I send home with some chocolate kisses in it um, as something for their first day because that's one of the books that we read um, and then these are some of the to do things that I have to be typing and stuff yet and these are gonna take a little bit longer this is a pacing calendar and I just started using this last year and I don't know if you could see it down there but it's from Mrs. Jones Creation Station Inc. Um, I'll try and see if she's still um, online and put the link for her but I'm sure that's how you'd find her. And um, I downloaded this on my school computer which I don't think I'm going to have anymore so I've been trying to retype a lot of things on to um, Google Docs. So I retyped my own version for this year on Google Docs and I could share that with you later but it's still a work in process. But I liked it because it goes up through all the weeks and then it's just got kind of the basics, the, the bare, the skeleton part of the lesson plan, not everything. So just kind of a synopsis. If something would happen I would die and they had to need have a new teacher they would have this that they could go by to to plan for their year um, here's staff meeting notes this is an old one that I found from the 4k teacher and I'm just gonna kind of look at some of her ideas this is another one I got offline a pre-kindergarten pacing guide and I oh yeah it shows right there lovely commotion is what it's got right there so um, I'm just gonna look through here too just for some ideas this is the Burlington Area School District calendar because some of our closings are based on that this is just the uh, Wisconsin model early um, standards and I kind of do a lot of um, review work with the kids based on some of this stuff and I can show you more on stuff I do in the classroom involving that. Next part, this is something new this year that I found online. And you can find the calendar the gal does on the Teacher Pays TPT, Teacher Pay Teachers Shop. Um, I'll try and find the link. But what I did was I, I watched a video her walkthrough of her calendar. I liked a lot of the concepts, but a lot of the other concepts I won't use because I just find a whole lot of things that aren't for a three-year-old preschool class. They're for older classrooms, and I don't need a lot of the things that they need. But there's some things that I would like to have. So this is an easy family contact page, so I'll have that. And this will be nice for... Um, any other teachers that are in the room too, they'll have this as well. I am going to have a um, assistant um, teacher with me, so um, this will help her too. This is student birthdays. I'm just going to write them in here rather than typing up a form because what happens is I type up some forms and because we're a daycare as well, 
we'll have students added and subtracted all the time. So typing it all up sometimes just isn't good because then I have to get onto the computer, change it all up. Whereas right here, I could just go into my folder and add or erase. And then the next sheet is the student medical um, overview. And so I will not be putting in here um, everybody. It'll just be the ones that have specific things. Like if there's an allergy, obviously, you know, I can put it in here. But some children have um, learning issues as well. And I know it says medical issue, but if there's um, a learning issue, um, that's something I will put in here too because I feel that will just help help all of us. And if there's meetings, I can just pull this out and look. My log information, and that'll just be for school school things um, like Class Dojo. There's also I'm trying to think of what it's called now. Go Noodle, I think, is what it is. There's a lot of videos, um, not videos, but songs and things like that on there. This will be, um, I just thought, I've never done this before, and this is, I want to maybe plan ahead on my dojo blog posts. So this will give me an opportunity um, to do that, and something's more to, to tick off, too, to make sure that I've done it. And let's see, what else? This is all kind of new stuff here. And then, oops, I'm going to have to block that out there. That was the name of <laughs> co-workers and their birthdays. All right, so, and then now I just have by month, so, I got out of frame there, there we go, September, and then what I did add in is this page, and this is from um, printableplanner.net. I just wanted a full um, calendar at a glance, so I'm going to come in here and write in all the dates and stuff, and then... Um, just a, it's not going to have my lessons in here so much as just like things that are happening at school. Um, and I will get a list of all of the things for school, but this is just a nice way to look while I'm in the month of what's going on when I'm going back and forth on lesson planning. And then after this, all I'm going to have is blank sheets of paper, just lined sheets of paper. Because at, at school, I have um, a file cabinet, and in there is a file for every single lesson plan that we do. So let's look at the pacing calendar. So, yep, yeah, I've got a folder for, um, well, here's the themes for welcome to school or back to school and all about me folder and my family folder. So these are all separate folders in the file cabinet. And what I do is beforehand, obviously, I pull that whole folder out and I'll go through it and I don't use every single thing every single week. It just kind of depends on the group of kids I have for the year, um, what I'm going to do, what they're capable of. So I will um, just list all the things from there that I want to do with the kids, where it fits into the um, daily curriculum. I will put uh, things I have to do, like what has to be printed, what has to be um, die cut, uh, maybe some more other things I have to do. Do I have to print some names? That sort of thing. And then I'll also have a to buy little section where I've got to add it to our shopping list. Because if we're out of certain supplies, um, then I have to do that. And that just worked out really slick for me last year. And I actually started that mid-year. This I printed off one other time and I wasn't really um, using it so much. So there's that. And then here I've just at the back in little sheet protectors I've got things. Just games for playing. I printed off this early learning goals. Um, this is from Lovely Commotion as well. Just something to look at for some extra training. Alphabet material list. This is when you do the um, letters of the alphabet. Just different things you can do with the letter of the alphabet. I've not done this yet with my class. Um, 
I'm just not sure if they're up for that learning part, but I thought maybe this year I might try it. And those are just sight words. So, you know, it doesn't hurt to try it. It's something that they can, um, they might grasp it, they might not, but it doesn't hurt to try it. And these are just some little work boxes that I was working on. Um, I've been reading up a little bit more on core, core strength in kids and how important that is. So I printed this off to um, just look at and get maybe some ideas for things to do outside. This side has 50 everyday playing ideas, just, you know, things to give ideas on. Preschool morning time stuff. These are some websites um, to check out, and I really have not checked them out. I found this in a binder that was left in the class, so I'm not even sure if any of these websites are, are good. So... So that's about that. And then I actually had a lunch schedule tips because I was never in my room at lunch and I was finding out that the room was chaos when I was gone. So I just kind of came up with some tips on that. So what I'm going to do um, before school starts is I want to make some more um, tabs to separate certain things in here. So I'm probably gonna use these papers. I'm gonna cut them to eight and a half by 11 and then put little um, tabs on the side. So that is something more extra that I am working on before school starts. So I thought I'd just share it with you. And then um, when I am done, when it's complete, I will come back and show you the completed. Thanks for watching.